Cindy Haydorn. I'm one of the co-authors of a new book for Theory of Knowledge called Decoding TOK. The book is very clear, it's very accessible, it also meets the needs of the new specification. So it includes the knowledge framework which helps you compare different areas of knowledge. It also includes a whole section on the distinction between shared and personal knowledge. Lots of students enjoy TOK, but they sometimes find that when it comes to the assessed tasks, um, they want to do really well and they don't always have a clear sense of what they need to do. So written in very succinct, clear language, um, our book tries to um, decode certain TOK concepts to give students a very clear sense of what the course is about and to really help them develop the critical thinking skills that they're going to need. So the book offers extensive support on the new assessment criteria for the essay and the presentation. And it also includes lots of margin features which explain certain key concepts. Um, it also includes real life examples to really relate critical thinking to the real world. It has many practical activities to develop students thinking, writing and presentation skills. And it also has lots of top tips to provide further guidance and advice. So it's a very student friendly book. So to do well in TOK, you really need to be able to think for yourself, but you also need to develop certain skills. The ability to evaluate an argument, the ability to weigh up the justification for a knowledge claim. You need to be able to think about what knowledge is and to examine concepts for yourself like evidence, certainty and truth. These skills are skills that um, are very transferable. At university, students increasingly need to think for themselves and university is very interested in students' ability to sort of evaluate arguments and to think critically. So whatever your six IB subjects are, you need to really enjoy theory of knowledge and we hope that this book will help you do that.